really excited because Ira is here today training. I don't think we've trained together before, but now that we have this big match coming up against Mark and Scott, he and I need to start doing some hard work to prepare. So really nice of him to stop by, looking forward to training and drilling. And uh, you know, the most important thing is that we just push each other, uh, have each other's back, keep the intensity high, and, and just make sure that we prepare each other to the best of our ability. If we can do that, then I feel really good about our chances. So I think today's gonna be a great training session. So Ira, I, obviously we're gonna do a lot of nets uh, kind of drilling today. Oh, great. Uh, baseline to net, drilling, maybe some serve and volley, return and volley. Okay. In general, how are you, now that the internet is voted and it's us versus Mark and Scott, how are you feeling about our, our chances? I mean, I think we'll do all right. Uh, yeah. I think, like we were talking earlier, you mentioned that on paper they're probably, well, they hit more than us, I mean, quite frankly. But I think, yep. I and know, they compete I, more than us. Yeah. Like I, I and feel, they've actually played doubles recently. But I, I feel like, I don't know, we're a good team. We have I, good I, synergy. I like to think so. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we haven't lost. We've never lost. That's true. So, we're I mean, undefeated. We are undefeated. And they've never played together, so. I they've mean, never played doubles I, together? I don't think so. How is that possible? I mean, maybe, but Aren't like, they like kind of old friends? Like, haven't they trained together a lot? Uh, I, I feel like one time they, I saw them playing doubles on the same court, but I don't know if they're teammates. Okay. But I'm not really too worried. <clears throat> they, don't, they don't fear me. I don't, I'm not feared. You fear no man. I fear no man. Or old man or younger man. Powered up by a surprise. <laughs> I'm like an expert topspin hitter at short court. Just short court? Yeah. But once I get back to the baseline, it's like, ah, flat. Oh, I probably should split step. I mean, uh, eventually. Oh. Uh. Split step will help, help the prize settle. Oh. I, I hate. Don't, I don't know about the beer though. Yeah. So in a in a nutshell, how do you think we we beat Mark and Scott? Like, what's the pattern that you think is going to be the go-to? Get lucky. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, I think you, we have to like try to draw Mark in and uh, and abuse him at the net, and then abuse lob Scott. Mark. Cause his little uh, strides don't get him back fast enough. What do you mean? What do you mean, little strides? <laughs> <laughs> Although he he uh, is more than capable of beating me in a mile. <laughs> I mean, he covers a lot of court with those strides. Ah. <laughs> okay, so abuse Mark at the net. Make Scott. make first serves. It make a lot of first serves. Yeah. Poach a lot. Yeah. Make Scott use little steps. Yeah. And uh, try to frustrate Mark so he uh, yeah he goes for stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. the minute he starts trying to trying to like do too much, then we could we could have a like a five minute swing of games. But I, I think Scott will do a good job of like not letting him feel some sort of way about however the match is going. Yeah. It's like such an effort to pick up balls. That inside out, short angle. The more hyphens I can put in a shot, the better it is. <laughs> on the rise. Yeah, on the rise, inside out, Sorry. short angle, backhand, winner. Windshield but, wiper. But yeah, it has to be uh, winner ish. Ian, Ira. <sighs> Get it. Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, no! Uh, uh. All right, you want to trade? Yeah, sure. 
I learned everything <laughs> I know from the streets, including the kneeling overhead. <laughs> that'd be great if that hit me in the chin. Uh, before serve returns, how about like a cross court game? Uh, like this side starts from no man's land and, and feeds uh, outside ground stroke and then play it out? Sure. All right, uh, middle no man's land, feed. Ready? Yep. yep. Uh, up to five. Oh. All right. Miss Coming. Hit. I'll take that. One, one. No. Ah, oh, how far back is that? Three inches. Wow, I felt good. About an IRA. Four, zero. This is funner than I thought it was gonna be. Funner is such a cool word. You should just use funner. It's funner than fun. Cause like think about it, then you have to say more fun. Definitely not funner than saying funner. Uh, game to five. Oh, alleys are good. Yeah, loser chugs a beer. Every point. <laughs> at at 12.45 in the afternoon. Every Miss point. a shot, take a shot. <laughs> That's a drinking game, holy cow. Serve the racket right out of his hands. Now I'm ready to play doubles. Yeah. Like if you hit serves like that. Yeah. And you can return like you just did. Well, returning is going to be the issue. I don't return enough. Like bigger. Uh, gotcha. Serves. I mean, well, just if, go out and uh, hit with somebody like, twice between now and the match. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel pretty good about that. The, the nice thing about doubles is like returning is you have a target. You know, it's like yeah. you don't just. You're not just, you're, you're like thinking about it versus singles. You're just like, oh, just hit the ball hard and hopefully it goes in. All right, Ira, thanks for coming over to hit. It was a lot of fun. There's like a certain level of intensity that when you're on the court teaching like all day or like if you're behind a desk like me, like when you, when you experience it like once a week or twice a week, it's just so much fun to, to have that level of like competitiveness back and forth. Yeah. And so thanks for supplying three quarters of it. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. It's not always easy to get out and hit, you know, when you're, when you're teaching, when you, yeah. when you're teaching and you hard. have stuff to do. Yeah. Uh, but when you, it, like, I always tell people, it, it's really hard to get me out to play, but when I'm out there, I have a lot of fun. Yeah, I and understand. Th this is, you're like the perfect person for me because it's the right <laughs> level of competitiveness and the right level of like j jibber jabber kind of back and yeah. forth. We know each other well enough to be able to poke back and forth, yeah. which makes it fun when you're a competitive person. Yeah, and, and mean every, every sentence. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and review all the sentences now. <laughs> how do you feel about like the actual like shot making uh, for yourself? Like how, how do you feel, how do you feel you did in terms of like prep? Yeah, I played great. Um, yeah, I'm lucky. I, I don't, I don't, I hit a really flat ball. So for me, like doing this isn't that hard. It's like for people that have to, you know, generate a lot of tops and swing up, like timing is much more of an issue for them. But for me, it's just like, just bat the ball right back as hard as you can. It's just true, like flatter ball people need less practice and so when Ian and I hit, it's like just kind of fine tuning little things and you know, getting your wrist in certain positions but I, I think I played well and that was uh, a lot of fun. I returned really well though. Yeah, you did. Um, and you downplayed your neck game a lot before we started but... But I, you know my neck game. I yeah, mean, I, I yeah. do but yeah, I feel like you, you did like super solid, like you yeah. didn't tank. Yeah. I didn't miss there was a like ton a, of easy ones. There was like a stretch on the ad side over here where I was just rolling into your feet. And that was like the only like laps I feel like you had in your yeah. neck game pretty much the whole, the whole yeah, day, which is pretty, pretty solid. I'll take it. Yeah. From there. 
I feel like with Scott, and you know, I'm, maybe I'm going out on a limb here, but I feel like with Scott and Mark, you're gonna have a target if you if if you decide to stay back and just like blast. I think Mark's gonna stay back for sure. That's what I'm saying. And so we're gonna like Scott. You know, is gonna be at the net. Like he's gonna he's gonna be aggressive. But it's 45 if, steps to get there. <laughs> but then if Mark uh, hangs back and or is like a little like shaky, you you like have your target. Yeah. Which I assume is kind of what you like back there. Yeah, right? for sure. Um, I think Mark will stay back. Uh, I don't know his net game. I'm sure it's pretty good. I mean, you know, it, it, it's a you know four five five zero level. So like, yeah. If he doesn't, you know, stay he's not back, bad up there. Yeah. But. If he doesn't stay back, I'd, I'd be I'd prefer that um, because I feel like in between, you know, my accuracy from the ad side with my inside out forehand, and your willingness to like move in on a backhand. On anything. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll do okay. <laughs> Well, it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, I don't hopefully. know, I'm not sure how much longer it's gonna be between now and when we play them, but uh, maybe we'll come out here and hit maybe one more time. Sure. At least bef before then. Sure, and I mean, you're, you're stocked up, so that's all I need, fuel. I gotta, I gotta go back to the store again soon. <laughs> all right, well thanks, Sarah. Thanks for dropping by, uh, good hit, and we'll see you again soon.